I struggle when people say, oh, here's another refugee film. And yes, from looking outside, they are refugees. But I wanted to go deeper into the, the experience of the exile on the inside. What does it actually feel to be an exile? I was following four uh, guys that I portrayed in uh, my previous work. And the last guy arrived in London at the time and told me how he'd got out. And the way he presented it to me was, by the time they crossed the border into Macedonia, they had 20,000 euros on them, but they had left four men bound and gagged in their basement flat in Athens. So this was actually a story that was told to me by one of the guys that I had followed. And ever since then, I've been haunted by this and also trying to find the form, how to best tell it, how to, how to actually share the experience of how it was when he told it to me. This is probably the, the most uh, arduous and, and, and tough uh, process of the whole. It took about two years because we were casting in Jordan, in Palestine, in Lebanon, in Germany, in Athens, in Denmark. I was looking all over for um, not actors, but uh, the personality that embodied the, uh, these characters. Reda, for example, we found him three days before we started the shoot because the guy I had initially wanted to work with couldn't get a visa. He couldn't leave Jordan. And I thought, gee, this guy could really work for the part. And we made a Zoom with him and Mahmoud, Mahmoud in Athens and Reda in Ramallah. And of course, I also wanted to make sure that the Palestinians were Palestinians, the Syrians were Syrians, the Lebanese were Lebanese. That wasn't gonna go. I struggle when people say, oh, here's another refugee film. And yes, from looking outside, they are refugees. But I wanted to go deeper into the, the experience of the exile on the inside. What it, what does it actually feel to be an exile? What does it feel to not have a home or an army to protect you? And uh, we were looking for ways to create uh, um, another world within the world that we're in. And the great thing with cinema is you can play with time and space and, and rhythm and, uh, and you, you can create these kind of multi-layers. I wanted to embrace that as well and break up the, the, the structure of the film with these dreamlike, surreal moments, uh, if you will.